Zippy tried to get those right hand side, but can't get through on the dishwasher. Gets stopped and slowed back to the beginning. Go for a slow roll now on the right hand side. Suckfoot and Snake coming up from behind with a chance to pull ahead if they can get through this level one dishwasher. But no, it's Nate. Oh my goodness, it's Nate saved by Slickfoot. Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Slickfoot saw it's Nate with a horrible fleet going down with full speed into that wall. And it looks like Slickfoot has sacrificed their chance to get ahead of uh, Tippy to save it's Nate's life. So it's going to be Tippy going through and left the side of the cheese brigade trying to get down in first place. But is it really a victory when you're not the savior of the situation? I don't think it is. And it's going to be Slickfoot coming around in second place, finally getting that karmic boost. It's Nate coming around in third place as they try to get across the cheese brigade. It's going to be Elsa the first and Gero Zaka in the back level and Steven left inside. But Slickfoot pulls ahead of the cheese brigade coming around the left inside to finish it out in second face. And I do believe Slickfoot is the true victor of this race after not only saving it's Nate's life, but still managing to finish second despite it. It's Nate comes through on the right hand side, trying to finish it down third. It's going to be Elsa the first trying to get through fourth, but Kara Zaka finally coming back from behind, trying to finish it out right the last second. Elsa the first tries to kick Chop on the right hand side, but they get hit by the pin. Kara Zaka on the right hand side. Oh, bad divide there by Kara Zaka. Both players coming out of the exit. Kara slightly ahead on the right hand track. Trying to get say head Elsa, and it looks like Kara is going to finish it out in fourth place. Elsa the first and fifth place. That's going to do it for the track. Ooh. Yowza. Where's the Cinder? This the Cinder? What are you, what? <laughs> what are you doing, man? I thought you were number one in the world, Desinder. Is this what number the world number one in the world does? Can't even get through the first half of the track by the time everyone else finishes the second half? Are you even trying? Do you even marble, bruh? This is the third time this map has been edited in its history. And then we're going to see what's going to happen as these players make it out to the bottom of the vertical pinball board. Bleach trying to get that early lead on the right-hand side, but Logo Velo's going to have a good line on the left-hand side. That looks like Logo Velo's tired of finishing in second, looking to get that first-place victory once today. But Tony Tiori going to overtake it now back in the first place, coming off the win on the last track, and they are already well on their way. Kirozaka coming down in second place. Bleach trying to get through in third. Looks like Zone Mises MT. Chesa V, Logo Velo's all battling out for fourth place and make it down into the divides. It's going to be Zone Mises MT all on the left-hand side. Only players going through on the right-hand side. We're going to see how these timings work out on the new update. It's going to be. I believe Bleed leading the way on the right hand track is making it out in two. The boost again is going to be zone and Missy MT on the left hand side, taking a little bit slower. But how does this all pay out as they go down? It looks like all the players are going to be overshooting, but a couple players do get those pin bounces trying to get down the center line. The other players coming up from the top, and it looks like the right hand track might actually be the faster track. Now, the left hand track is not very good, and it's going to be Tony Taori back in the first place as they go across the Missy Tunnel. Coming through on the right hand side is making it out in two. The rotating hammers goes off on the right hand side. Six foot coming around, second place. Kira's on third. Logo of those four spooky in fifth place. Six hits me seven. The time we're supposed to eighth place. But having trouble in the mystery tunnel. I think they're going to fall out of the map and zone and Miss MT now overtaking as they come back from behind. And Logo below is coming through on the right hand side. Kira's on does not make the landing in the, into the uh, pan of force cubes. Switching straight through the pan of cubes on the left hand side. Overtaking Six foot. And now in the first place they go. Getting ahead of Logo below. So he's trying to hold that second place position. But Six foot's going to run for their money. Trying to get down to the invisible plate as they go through the dips and dives. Trying to get down to the balance beam. And who's going to have the best landing? We're going to find out in just a moment. Spoon tree trying to get that boost into the center line. Looks like Sickfoot and Logo Velo's both trying to get through. Looks like Sickfoot's overshot to the right-hand side. spoon has got a perfect line right down the center. Bounces to the center on the right-hand side of the uh, pain of force games. Down to the double blade. Dishwasher with a good line on the left-hand side trying to get around the blade. Oh my goodness! Too much speed by spoon and Logo Velo's going to overtake right into finish space and take the victory. What a play and turn of events right at the last stage of the race, ladies and gentlemen. As Sonic tries to get down into the corner, and it looks like Sonic is going to go for the same skip that uh, uh, Jabroni did, and they're only half a helix behind Jabroni, so Sonic has a very good chance of getting a record here if they could just pull one more move on Jabroni. Sickfoot coming out in second place. Looks like they're going to go right into the helix, and they're going to have a long time to go through there. Desinder going through on the left hand side, trying to find some way to skip ahead. Going through the helix is on the left hand track with that corner. Isn't it coming through on the right hand side? And it looks like it's going to be Sonic going to be coming out right behind Jabroni, trying to find the way down the track as quickly as possible to try to beat that record time. Isn't it caught in the coil, so not going to be able to do anything here. Desinder going right down the middle in the bottom of the funnel, so Desinder are going to try to make something happen on the left-hand side. It's not makes me through on the right-hand side. Try to get the straight shot through and catch up to Jabroni's time, but I don't know if Jabroni's time is going to allow for it. Sonic trying to get through. He bounced off to the right-hand side. If they can just get out, they could paint the record time. Sonic tries to get on the exit on this level one, Steve, but can they get through the blade? Oh, they're going to get a helpful boost, and I think Sonic's going to be able to make something happen here. No, misses the boost from the blade, trying to find the way down the bottom, and can Sonic actually get through to finish out the race in first place? Ahead of Jabroni's record time is going to be a close one. Neck and neck, and Sonic finally gets out of the exit just ahead, and Sonic gets down with a new record time by a second. All the players still trying to get through the extra large vortex over. Desinder trying to lead the way in second place. Isn't it coming out of third? Spoon Tree for a slick foot and fifth, and the mustache all the way back in sixth place. And Desinder going through on the right hand side. So Desinder's going to try to make something happen as they go down expressly. Go right over the cheese grater on the right hand side. Gets to Sensei as they hit that last booster into the jump and coming down into the hard landing. And will Desinder be able to keep everything under control? Go for the center landing here. They're going to have a good chance of hitting one of the boosters as they try to get past these pistons on the right hand side. Beautiful line right through the booster. Two boosters through the left hand side. And Desinder's rocketing down right over the cheese grater, right down to the cheese. The middle grater trying to avoid the pistons and make the way out of the ride. Bounce off the 
with this side, but too much speed for Descender. And they've been eliminated, but a valiant effort. Says to me now, first place, taking it slow as they go right down to the cheese grater. Probably going to go for a dead stop right in the middle of the cheese grater. It's they coming with a tremendous amount of speed. Second place, looking to overtake Shenzi. Hits Shen's TV from behind, bops out, and Shen TV survives. And Shen's TV has survived a brutal blow to the back of the head. I'm pretty sure Shen TV may have forgotten a couple things about his past, but he is still rolling down the Mario track right straight through as they go off the left hand side of the mine. Down the women to finish it out in first place. And Shen TV somehow surviving the blow from It's Nate and taking the victory. It's Nate said they had what it took and was trying to do everything in their power to dethrone Shen's TV from the lead position. But in the end, just ended up killing themselves. Spoontree tries to get through, gets blasted off by the Chiefs. The are not going to be able to finish out the race. And Slickfoot now going to finish it out in second place. They go through on the left-hand side. And the mustache, always being the gentleman, letting all the players go ahead. Going to try to finish it slow. Steady back in third place with a minute and five seconds left on the clock to get themselves through the Chiefs. The Booger through the divide. And in the bin should be plenty enough time for the mustache to make it through. As they make it down the edge. Good, beautiful line there by the mustache. Finally bobbling at the end, but it's not going to be enough to house any trouble. And the mustache finds the exit, gets to the left-hand side of the divide. And with about 50 seconds left to go, the mustache is going to finish out this race in third place as they hit the wind and that is going to do it for the track. I love these helicopters. They're so slick. Slick they is. It looks like it's going to be Kiro Rosalka trying to get down to the best pass on the back wall, trying to get down to the center of the Vortex Orbiter in first place. It's going to be Bubble Cover coming around second. He's in third. Chance to be trying to get through in fourth place, but the Buster's going to be right behind him. And bleed. not too far behind in sixth place. Excuse me. That was a good warm-up round. That, was, that felt good. Felt good. We got through that whole introduction without a single problem. Here we're going off on the left-hand side. Going to be coming around in first place. All the other players trying to get through on this Vortex Orbiter, but they're going to be quite far behind Kira, who's now getting down to the Industrial Vortex, or the uh, Industrial Potabular. It's going to be a bulk curve. Going on second, Dollar Smash in third, Chesapeake and fourth. Use it on the left-hand side in fifth place, and play on the right-hand side in sixth place. Make the way down into the pan, avoiding those cubes and getting past those winged out dummies and passing themselves down into the funnel to try to get down into the vertical flight. Look like it's going to be Karazaka. First one down to the bottom of the funnel, but here comes Overcrowd. Chance to be chance to get a better dead drop into the center of the funnel. Oh my goodness, Chance to be over that amazing dead drop to the funnel. Going to close the gap on Karazaka. Overcrowd going to try to stay ahead, but they're falling behind in third place and having even more trouble getting through on that Archimedes screws. They go down into the vertical, Steve, and down into the rest of the track. Karazaka hits the bottom of the page. Chance to be tries to hit the boosters, but it's not helping him out. Overcrowd gets a better bounce into second place. Karazaka already holding first place. They go through the Steve on the right hand side, trying to get through as quickly as as possible as Bubble Grabber comes up from behind. It looks like Blaze gonna make a move as well, trying to find that exit, but both players missed the exit. Here comes Chesapeake on the right hand side, trying to get a better line. He sends me back in a second place as Karazaka hits the jump into the. Oh my goodness, are we going into the <laughs> helicopter? We are going into the helicopter, ladies and gentlemen. Chesapeake six to landing. Looks like Blaze six to landing. Gives him a must have tried to six landing as well as uh, Karazaka first one into the helicopter, gets the boost, coming around into the left hand side, trying to get down the exit here. On the oh my goodness, we're going through the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> And down into the bottom. Oh, there's a cheese obliterator. There's a pan. There's everything. There's the cockpit. Oh my goodness. What is going on? This is absolutely phenomenal. We're actually going through the helicopter here. Shen Zimi, six to landing in first place. But here comes Kira's Rock with Yusuf and Glory Smith. Don't try to get out through the uh, cheese obliterator pans. We get themselves into the rest of the track. It looks like Bubble Kramer having a little bit of trouble getting out of that elevator. As it makes it out of the exit here, it looks like Kirozaka retaking first place. Oh my goodness, Bubble Kramer gets blasted by the pins. Kirozaka, six to landing, comes down into the bottom of the exit, trying to get through the wing jet on the left hand side. Looks like they got a good line coming down into the last divide. And it looks like it's going to be a close one. Here comes Kirozaka in first place. Mustache closes the gap in second. Yusuf in third, goes through on the right hand side. Jesse coming out in fourth place, trying to get through on the left hand side. All four players are coming through as they make their way down to the intersection. There's a couple Jiminy sticks here on this intersection piece, and Kirozaka has got to be careful as they go down into the pace. Oh my goodness, right through, but right back. Backwards. And now the pairs have a chance to cut up from behind. Yusuf misses it. Lawrence must have missed it. Chesapeake caught up from behind. Can Chesapeake make something happen here? Yes, he can. And Chesapeake blasts to the intersection on the right hand side into the industrial metabular on the right hand track, making the way down to the bottom of the funnel, trying to get down the exit as quickly as possible. There is a steam there, but I think they're going to be okay as they go through on the right hand side, looking for that dead drop into the windmill. And is Chesapeake going to be able to get ahead and get themselves down into the windmill to finish it out? Oh, has a trouble. Gets bounced back up to the right hand side, tries to get through again, tries to find a good line, hits the pin. Oh, my goodness, smacked down. And Chen's TV sticks to landing in first place. Yusuf in second, Kirozaka trying to get through in third, looks like Gloris trying to get through in fourth, and Blee on the right hand side, fifth place. What happened to Bubba Kramer? Having a world of trouble in that helicopter as Gloris Special tries to get through on the left hand side. Kirozaka had a little trouble on that left hand track, trying to get out of that elevator. Excuse me, level one, Steve. And it's going to be Yusuf in second, Blee in third, Gloris Special in fourth place. Looks like Bubba Kramer and Kirozaka battling it out. Oh my goodness, a mid collision there. Mutually beneficial though, as that gets both players out in time just ahead of the wall of death. One minute and 35 seconds left to go as Kirozaka goes down into fifth place. Bubba Kramer finishes it out in sixth place. And that is the track, ladies and gentlemen. I'm voting that shit up.